Uh, today, there's going to be a, a Mr. Uh, what's his name? Dix, is it? And a Mr. Is it Mul Mulder? Is that right? No, I think not. Anyway, they're the uh, they're representatives of the uh, the uh, New Democratic Party, and um, re regretfully, I, 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 I've for many many years, uh, in spite of my desire to see a good socialist uh, movement, it seems to me that the NDP have have in fact countered the development of a thoughtful caring, loving, harmonious people and have fed to a greater or lesser extent on the inevitable um, problems sur surrounding proper payment, uh, ha uh, working hours and all the things that they've uh, rightfully stood for, but rightfully stood for in a situation about which really I don't think they've ever, ever demonstrated they're going to do anything. And so my question would be to these two gentlemen, before they get off into the details, as I was beginning to do then, to answer the simple question. If the NDP are intent on forming a government quickly, would they issue a statement both provincially and federally as representatives of the Canadian people that we should, with, we should dispense with this deceit of deficit right away absolutely no more of that nonsense and further any of the banks that I consider it might be in their interest to challenge that I think are absolutely out of luck and I think if they attempt to do that then I think the a proper Canadian government will put them firmly in their place we're not interested in harming people. We're not interested in making enemies. Far from it. But what we are interested in is a monetary reform, a return to a system that was being destroyed in 1972. And that was after 12 years I've been in this country, watching things carefully, reporting in intelligently and thoughtfully to the authorities that I believe still had some sway here. And 12 years after doing that, I finally got the signal, John, you've got to do something about this. And that was in 1972, November of 1972. That is exactly 40 years ago. And for 40 years, because I was unable to do any more about it, the cops came round and said, well, they didn't say anything. They asked my neighbors what kind of crazy Englishman it was, and that was the end of whatever broadcast I was doing. So, uh, they just didn't want anybody to know that. And now the cat is out of the bag. And as the cat is out of the bag, the NDP should absolutely affirm that they will return to the debt-free money that was generated by the Bank of Canada as a result of the Macmillan, Lord Macmillan, and Mr. Jerry uh, McGeer, when they agreed that what Canada needed was a debt-free bank. And since that time, the commercial banks, like, like sharks, have been biting away at the people of of Canada, in fact, the people of the world, and they have the audacity, the audacity to think that we owe them $34.2, I think, billion dollars a year out of the working man's pay packet. Well, I have news for you, Guy. I think that's probably what we'd be taking out of some of your uh, claimed w riches. And don't try to hide them overseas because this movement is, is worldwide now. We are everywhere. The bankers have had their day. Both of my daughters are bank workers. I'm not saying people will not have jobs. Of course people have jobs. But will they have leisure? Absolutely they'll have leisure. Will they be pushed this way and that way by a, a police force? No. They'll be living in harmony because they're all peacekeepers. Because that is the nature of the, our future is to generate love and harmony and peace and beauty and to do that by taking control of the reins of power 
that should never have been stolen from the people by these politicians and this poisonous game of politics. I was a bit grumpy. Well, it's a serious matter, and um, I'm trying to address it in a serious way because uh, 40 years is a long time to wait for justice to return to the Canadian people after the price they paid in the Second World War. And I've been looking at the whole, I won't go on, it's, it goes on forever. I could talk forever. There's so many stories and they're all true. Embellished here and there for theatrical effect, maybe. <laughs> But John, you know, it's 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 really much worse than I even want to think about. So I'm not going to. I'm, I'm going to put it down there. We're looking towards a very, very positive outcome to all of this. And um, God bless. God keep us safe. Uh, give us peace in our times. And we we had the we had the winter of discontent. Now is the spring of new understanding. I think Shakespeare had that first. I hope so. <laughs> if he missed that, he, was, he wasn't doing enough of the Blessed Sacrament, which I think I might just do now. How many hours have I got on this thing? <laughs>